By 2050, 68% of the global population is expected to live in cities. These urban dwellers will eat 80% of food produced. But where will this food come from? Currently, in the United States, food travels 1,500 miles on average to get from farm to plate, and transporting fresh foods is particularly carbon intensive. Finding sustainable agricultural solutions within cities is a way to address the carbon footprint of fresh food. The city of Singapore is experimenting with rooftop gardens, hydroponics and vertical farms as part of their commitment to source more food locally. And less than 10 miles from Manhattan, scientists at Aero Farms have combined farming, technology and data in the largest vertical farm in the world. This is really horticulture meets data science and really thinking differently about how we harvest not only the plants, but the data and insights. So we're already, in terms of productivity, the world's largest, and we're expanding to be able to serve you know, the broader marketplace. This 70,000 square foot facility can grow two million pounds of greens every year. The crops require 95% less water and are grown with zero pesticides. They are able to harvest 30 times a year. So within 24 hours after harvest, it's already out the door, in the store. We can make something more sweet, more peppery. We can change the crunch, we can change the color, even change the nutritional density. So we're using technology to be more resourceful and creating a better category of food. Although urban farming is not the only solution to climate change and can be more expensive than commercial farming, Researchers are determined that if fully implemented in cities around the world, urban agriculture could produce as much as 180 million metric tons of food a year. Perhaps 10% of the global output of legumes, roots and tubers, and vegetable crops. The practice does not deplete soil, is largely immune to climate change and weather variability, and has 100 times higher productivity per acre. We didn't create the company to build one farm. We created the company to help feed our planet. By the UN's estimate, we need 50% more food by 2050. At the same time, we've lost 40% of our arable land in the last 30 years. So we need a new paradigm of how we're going to feed our planet. Vertical farming isn't going to solve all of our problems, but it's illustrative of what innovation can do. The indoor farming technology market was valued at around $23 billion in 2016 and is projected to reach $40 billion by 2022.